Hello and welcome to the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Dr. Jerome Lavelle, and today we will be looking at the Gospel of Mark, chapter 3, verses 7 through 12. Jesus withdrew toward the sea with his disciples. A large number of people followed from Galilee and from Judea. Hearing what he was doing, a large number of people came to him also from Jerusalem, from Idumea, from beyond the Jordan, and from the neighborhood of Tyre and Sidon. He told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, so that they would not crush him. He had cured many, and as a result, those who had diseases were pressing upon him to touch him. And whenever unclean spirits saw him, they would fall down before him and shout, You are the Son of God. He warned them sternly not to make him known. Today in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 3, verses 7 through 12, we hear a short account of Jesus withdrawing from the crowds. The text tells us that Jesus had been traveling about the region, healing and teaching. His impact in what he was doing and what he was saying had created an energy and an excitement, and people sought him out. His followership was growing exponentially. He was becoming a real rock star. So, what are we seeing in Mark's scripture verses today? As Jesus withdraws toward the sea with his disciples. One thought might be that Jesus, though all God, was also all human. And as a human, he might have been saying, Hey, guys, please go get a boat. I need a break. Or maybe I need a little quiet time to recharge my batteries. Jesus, the man, simply could have needed a little attention to what we call today his personal health and wellness. Perhaps he needed to get reconnected with the Father or spend some less stressful time with the apostles, teaching them and preparing them. We know that in Luke 6, 19, we hear, And all the multitude sought to touch him, for power came forth from him and healed everyone. And in Luke chapter 8, he was on his way to Jairus' house to see the daughter who was ill, And we hear the crowds almost crushed him as he went along his way. And and in that scene, as he was traveling toward Jairus' house, there was a woman in the crowd who had a wound that no one could heal. And in that crowd and in faith, she reached out and touched Jesus' cloak. And he immediately stopped and said, Who touched me? And then he said, I felt the power go out of me. So this gives us some indication that these large crowds and their needs created a situation where Jesus as man perhaps needed that retreat to the sea with his disciples. Another potential interpretation of this scripture verse today might be that Jesus was thinking strategically. He knew his mission and how he needed to gather momentum in his ministry to make the changes in men's hearts and the changes to all of mankind. Perhaps he saw that he had gotten the word out in this area, and thus the time had come for him to move to another to continue his work. He had more hearts to convert. And there will be other potential interpretations that could be made from these verses. For instance, Perhaps in compassion for the large crowds, Jesus wanted to move on so as not to encourage the people to assemble in such large numbers. Whatever might have been in Jesus' mind as he called for a boat that day was how very human these verses sound to me. And in that regard, they remind me 
of the absolute awesomeness and love that God showed for us that He, in the form of His very Son, would come and live among us in the man Jesus Christ, that He would walk our dirty paths, be amongst the sin and the sinners, to feel the discomfort of our weather and witness firsthand the misery of disease and the malice of men for mankind. And yet He did come to call our hearts out of this world and focus on the next. He fixed our eyes not on our next meal, but on the Father who created us and loves us. At the same time, He did show us the immense beauty that this world He created has for us. A child's honest smile and loving dependence, the power of forgiveness, the unfathomable beauty of nature, the joy of human bonding in shared experiences, the cosmic harmony of living a life full of kindness, love, empathy, tenderness, passion, selflessness, honesty, virtue, self-denial, and joy. My reflection today is to think about both the God and the man in Jesus and to give thanks and praise to my blessing of faith. As the centurion said to Jesus, who was on his way to heal the centurion's servant, I am not worthy that you should enter into my house. Today I say, thank you, God, for entering into my life. Thank you for joining the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Dr. Jerome Lavelle. And remember, our thought of the day is one of thanks to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for all that they have done in our lives. Until next time, be well and be blessed. Be blessed.